Well, let's bring him in. Picture of this show at this time, this date for over 25 years. My, our good friend, Dr. Joe Congeni, Sports Medicine Center at Grand Children's Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Joe. Thanks, Ray. Uh, I, I'm going to talk today about something, a, a real common problem, but it has athletes scratching their head all over the place, and it's the number one problem in pediatric sports medicine, number one problem particularly around the knee. You can be sure at this time of year with so many young people playing sports uh, in sport medicine centers like ours, there may be, with all the centers, we have 10, 20, 25 athletes. Uh, limping around, they can't run, they can't go up and down stairs, but they're frustrated because they didn't have any twisting injury like an ACL or an MCL, and they can't quite figure out what the problem is. And the number one problem is this overload, this over uh, uh, overstress to the kneecap known as runner's knee. Uh, in general terms. It's known as patellofemoral pain syndrome. We have come a long way in learning about it in my career, which is what's kind of fun about the experience of being around a while. But for all of my 30-plus years, seen so many cases of PFS. And in its worst form, athletes just can't run and they can't play, and it really frustrates them this time of year. The kneecap has a bump on the bottom that it rides in a groove, and when athletes are playing sport, running a lot, running up and uh, you know up hills and and upstairs and things like that, the kneecap kind of gets pulled into that groove and very inflamed and irritated from overuse. And uh, and so we have to get that quieted down. And typically one of the things, of course, we talked about a few weeks ago, bracing was something that was used quite frequently. Bracing is used a little bit less now in the last decade than it used to be, but still used in the early stages to try to hold that kneecap from rubbing more and irritating more. Um, things to reduce inflammation so trainers and therapists have different types of uh, treatments they can do to get rid of some of that inflammation. But obviously some degree of rest and cross-training uh, because if they're really hitting it hard at practice, which is what's going on in mid-September, they're going to be limping around and not able to play. So ultimately in those kids that are not playing, their best friend is the physical therapist. And here's where the person on our team that helps the most is the sports physical therapist. I get kids from all around the region, and many of them I can tell where they went for physical therapy because in the old days, when I went into career in the 80s and the 90s, all the treatment was aimed at trying to strengthen the tendon above the kneecap or below the kneecap. And in some situations early on, that actually made it worse in physical therapy. And so people lost confidence in their trainers and their physical therapists. And what we learned by about the year 2000 was really we start upstream a lot more with the core work to reduce and the stress to the kneecap. And so we work a lot on the core. You see a lot of athletes who have different type of taping to try to keep that kneecap right in the middle of the groove so it's not rubbing and slipping around as much and inflamed as much. And so taping plays a a big role, uh, individualized taping to really uh, get the kneecap exactly where it should be so that it's not being irritated. For whatever reason, the kneecap, undersurface of the kneecap, the cartilage has a lot of nerve endings there. And so it's one of the really difficult things to treat. It's one of the most common from coast to coast in the country in pediatric sports medicine, far and away the most common knee problem and really most common sports problem that we see. So we need a good approach to get it better. The physical therapists that work with sports are really good at it. And, and when you're up against it and these kids can't run and play, the sports physical therapist, the reason I say sports physical therapist is a lot of people, if they go to an adult therapist that doesn't see this problem, they'll do the older form of treatment. And I can tell right away, you know, if, if they're seeing somebody who's up to date on treatment. And the sports physical therapists do a wonderful job getting people better. I have to joke about it in my office for years, these kids come in and they've been to the therapist four or five, six times, and they're feeling better when they come back and see me. And, and I say, well, now who did all the work? And they say, well, the physical therapist worked with me. And I say, well, this is the way it works in sports medicine. The therapists do all the work, 
but the doctors take all the credit. So I want you to let everybody know that I'm the one that cured you from this problem. And I joke with them and say, no, it's, it's all the work of the really talented physical therapist. Here's where the therapists really shine, and they get kids back on a field quickly. And this kind of vague, fly-under-the-radar injury known as runner's knee or PFS, patellofemoral pain syndrome, if you want to know the fancy word, really limits a lot of athletes, and I just wanted your audience to be aware of it today. Great stuff again, Joe. Thank you for doing the time and educating us a little bit on runner's knee. We'll do it again next week. Okay, thanks, Ray. Have a great week. You too.